right? So first and foremost, you want to uh, show that you have mastery and or efficiency in your work. So you have to be able to show your history, right? Uh, in my case here, I do not have my history tab. I only have, this is called device status, images, and tool options, right? So it's just a matter of showing the tab. So I just click on this little triangle inside a box here and then add tab and then I just choose undo history right so my undo history you can actually bring it outside like this pop it out right will actually show me everything that I've done with regards to my work here right so drop layers and item visibility and so on and so forth so I have uh, so much things here right so uh, it's just a matter of you uh, using the print screen and you'll see the, the button for print screen. So you might be using your own laptop or you might be using the desktop. If you're using the desktop, you'll see the print screen button on the left side of scroll lock, right? So that's if you're using your desktop. If you're using a laptop, your own laptop, then you might you have to know like, where your print screen button is because I have no idea where it is, right? So I'm just gonna use my print screen now, FN and print, in print screen, right? So I have this printed. Then I just go to uh, my Word. I recommend Word. You can actually use any kind of app, but I rec recommend Word, right? Just gonna paste it, Control V, right? Then edit it, uh, crop it a little bit, right? So I have something like that. Then enlarge it. So that's the that's the first print screen, right? Next up is I just scroll to the bottom. And then print screen again and then just put it on my again put it on my document lah. again I say it doesn't have to be Microsoft Word but I suggest that you use Microsoft Word because um, there are several advantages one is the what to call it portrait kind of mode which is readily available in Microsoft Word and two is we are very much familiar with this tool already you've used it in sem1 and you've used it extensively uh, i think in your life right i mean you've used it since high school maybe maybe even primary school so it's something that we're familiar with but if you find other tools that can be more efficient in doing this you can use that right so once that is done you can just save it right uh, so i'm just saving a step print screen it can it can be anything maybe i'll just put that in the in the assessment sheet maybe i just put it as you need to you need to save it as something something right 